All right, you are still watching Ways National Freedom Day, always observed on February the 1st, celebrates freedom from slavery. It also recognizes that America is a symbol of liberty. The day honors the signing of Abraham Lincoln's, um, Abraham, by Abraham Lincoln of a joint House and Senate resolution that later became the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Um, Constitution. So, hey, nothing beats freedom. But ladies, let's quickly move on. Um, to our story. Let me come to you, EC. What did you find for us in the news? As we're talking about education today, I actually um, saw a story which actually resonated with me because it has to do with education. And it says that NUC, which is the National University Commission, can shut down schools for elections. And that was what um, caught my attention in the news. And this was spoken by the minister, um, what's his name now? That was spoken by the Asuchia person who is in the person of Professor Bolanov Bolarin. He is the chairperson of ASU at uh, Mina. Mina, I said Mina. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't have too much intonation, basically. So this was spoken by um, Bolaho, and he insisted that the NUC do not have the right to, you know, shut down schools. However, let's recall that recently that um, the federal government uh, did, was called upon by, um, by the Senate to actually shut down the schools. But my take on this is not because they want to shut down the schools, but we can look at it from two perspectives. One, what will the students be doing and how long was the duration that the schools will be shut down for? Is it, is, does it mean that politics now supersedes or overrides um, education? Number two, we can also look at it from the perspective of why are we shutting down the schools? We want the students to actually vote, which is the, the, with the concept that students make up currently are the newly, we have about 3.8 million students who are actually making up the newly registered number of voters currently in Nigeria. So yes, we need the students to vote, but at what cost? Can't they bring the polling units to the schools or bring the uh, PDCs to the schools to have the students actually vote seamlessly? I think this is something that we should actually look into so that we do not disrupt the education system of the children, or the education of the children, basically. So while I, I, I think I tend to understand where you're coming from with your analysis of bringing the polling unit to the school, um, yes. sadly, it cannot work. It cannot work because the structure of the Nigeri uh, Nigerian political space is you are voting according to a particular... So even if the student is in Lagos, right? Mm. The student mm. cannot even vote in a region in Lagos except the region that the student was registered to vote. So that system w might not work. Some students might be coming in from, say, Kano State, mm -hmm. right? And True. so... They school in Lagos, but they are originally from Kano. So it's very likely that their registration would be, um, what's it called? In Kano, it might be in Lagos, we don't know. But the best, I think, the approach should be they should just go on a break. Because we actually need our students to vote. I mean, um, college votes in the U.S. account for a lot. So we need our students to go to their polling units, even if it is just for a week. What is the duration like? I think it is the spacing That's in between... The spacing between the governorship and the whatever um, mm -hmm. presidential, presidential and the governor, uh, governorship um, elections that causes that because if it was close, would have just done everything quick succession and they go back to school. But now it means that they have to go like come back twice. So they will go do presidential and um, senate and all of that, come back and go back again to do governorship and um, the other uh, what's it called the state house of, house of assembly. So I think that's okay. where the issue is. But is except if we start to think of registering students in a different class where they can vote maybe on a portal or something, 
But if it is with this current system, they still have to go back to where it is that they are voting from. my point. If INEP is willing, INEP will find a way to make it seamless. For the Absolutely. Students. Well, let's let's find this. We can find a solution. They were, already, they were already on strike for a long time. Now they're going to shut down the schools again. And nobody knows what might happen. In but it's even safer for them to shut down the schools. What if anything happens, okay. right? Let them go back home. What if anything happens? But hey, we'll, we'll keep on... Um, monitoring the story um glory your story please okay um it's still in relation to naira notes apparently just like ec said not everyone is really affect affected by what's going on so it says that pdp presidential candidate requested for a non-extension of the naira notes from february 10th what caught my attention about this is that is for a particular statement he's, he made he said it had become imperative to ensure the purpose and objective of initiating the redesigning of the currency are not destroyed. So the purpose of reinitiating the redesigning of the currency, it's not destroyed. So it means there's a bigger purpose aside what they are trying to tell us. Because remember that CBN released a circular saying, these are the reasons why they're doing this because it's been long and so many, it was almost 80% economic reasons. But now he's, we all already know um, yeah, at the back of our too. mind that yes that there is a bigger purpose for this but he's actually making it clearer what I'm saying is you know what they are doing maybe it's it's okay but then the pressure in which they're putting the Nigerians into and look at what is happening I've experienced this you know I, I sat yesterday I went to the bank there was no cash I could not even do transfers I was almost stranded you know, having money and still being stranded. And this is just this um, case with so many other Nigerians. So um, I think we, it's a good, it's a step in the right direction. But why the rush? You know, if they know that this was going to be so urgent, why did they not start sooner than now, right? Why is it just within this few, is it a little and bit over a month? Has, and, it has and, and now. The plan, the that, plan the, the only, not planned that only because them. Again, know. mind you, we have, we have a <laughs> disjointed system. So mm. when you implement policy, it takes time for it to be effective, mm. right? And that's what they are not taking into consideration. consideration. Yeah. Well, there's an extension of 10 days, and I think another extra, maybe seven days. So let's they should hope just keep we'll be able to do that. But let me hear your story, Jennifer. Okay, so um, this is in relation to education, um, which is the topic for today. Degrees are not enough to equip youths, and this was said by the Minister of Communication, Professor Issa Pantami. Pantami. So he said that he has called for inclusion of digital skills in the school curriculum of African undergraduate students. Um, he also said that the inclusion of digital skills training should become necessary because degrees are no longer enough to equip the youths for the task ahead of them in the labor market. And also stated that the focus is, shouldn't be on certificates, but the ability to do the job. And um, I mean, there was this um, article was actually very, very long. Spot on. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they also mentioned how um, we have a lot of unemployable youths, mm -hmm. which I totally agree. And saying that um, they should add digital skills mm -hmm. to the curriculum, I think it makes a lot of sense. Because going to school for five years, all to come out because of your, you, you just have that paper. Once you come out, you have no skills, you have nothing. And... A lot of the youths who, who become graduates are actually not employable. Their, their digital skills or their skills they're actually supposed to gather while you're in school that would help you once you graduate, you can easily secure a job. It doesn't necessarily have to be internship. You should be maybe entry level or something like that. And I think those that um, I was having the same education conversation with my friend yesterday and we're talking about how we spent five years in school. Um, so I studied information and communication engineering. And then we found that that one of our one of my cosmates her younger sister was also studying the same course in the u.s and what i was taught in 400 level was what she was taught in 100 level and she already had Can we skills this <laughs> no, let's leave, let's leave. <laughs> and she already had skills mm. she, she she was she was able to do things that we could not do that we could not even understand i think it dawned on a lot of us when we went on internship in 400 level that we really did not know anything. Okay. <laughs> On that note, Jennifer, hold me because I want to remove my. <laughs> I saw this video because I told you people. I said this money matter. We see this thing you said. Yes. I'm employing a few people currently, right? And a guy came into my office. He said, "No go school." 
after secondary school, he said he did year one, uh, 100 level. He said they were just teaching him rubbish. So he left and he went to YouTube. Currently, he he's, he's earning in hard currency. That's it. So really, in fairness, our educational system here is quite shitty, in all honesty. But again, the story that I want to take is the lady that wanted to go naked in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can just flash the story because me, I will continue my story tomorrow. <coughs> me, I have told you people, this money matter will continue tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, she was agitated. You know, it's a no-brainer because a lot of people go to the banks. They don't have anything. You know, they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. So I need CBN to be very careful though, because now it's staff, bank staff, they will be, they will be punching. <laughs> but this lady was agitated and I think, you know, she just went off and took off her clothes in the banking hall. Wow. And she, she was not oh, leaving yes. until they gave her her money. Wow. I mean, if they can, or is the video, I don't know why the video is not, that's her. Give me back my money. I didn't let you know. <laughs> 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 have you let me see the thing she's saying. Have yeah. you let them go to school? Yeah. See, these people live on daily income. That's it does not make any sense. When I saw people withdrawing, they were giving people to. So, two ladies came into the bank. The lady looked at them and said, Eh, we have money. But it's 50 50 naira, and you, you get two of you get 3,000 naira each. The two ladies looked at themselves. <laughs> It's even the like I, I don't understand. I don't understand. No, I really don't understand the rationale behind that. Do we are mean? coming back tomorrow. We consider ah. that today is for education. It's not money matter. Please, <laughs> let's do our education matter. <laughs> let's go on a break. Yeah. When we come up from the break, we'll have our guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back.